In this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit videos using iMovie for iPhone. And I hate long intros, so let's just dive into the content. So to get started in iMovie, all we wanna do is click new project down here, and I'm just gonna click movie. And here I'll be able to choose my footage. I'm gonna choose this video up here. It's the one I filmed, but I could select or choose other ones here if I want. And you can also go back to media and go through different albums and things like that. But we're gonna go ahead and click create movie here with our video clip, which it's added in. And if we ever need to add more, we can always click the plus button up here. it will take you right back into your albums and things like that. We can add more footage, but again, I'm good for now. So we got our video clip here. And at the top, we'll have our preview screen. We'll be able to click play, pause, etc. There's a back button in case we make a mistake, we can reverse it. And then there's settings down here, which can control the theme of your video, which does affect your text effects. So usually I like to stick with modern for my theme. Uh, but if you want to do something more playful, there's like neon, there's a travel style one. There's also this simple one, which I do like that one as well. There's also some filters up here you can apply, but I find these to be a little too powerful, so I wouldn't mess with those. Now let's actually get into editing our video here. So what you want to do is you want to click on your video clip, which is going to highlight it in yellow. And then what you can do, there's two different ways you can kind of trim a video clip. You can grab one side of it and just drag with your finger up to the point where you're about to start talking. Uh, but it's a little glitchy. You'll find you're scrolling the head too far. Um, so sometimes it can be useful to do this, but oftentimes it's just too glitchy. So instead, what I recommend doing is just scrolling ahead to the point where you want your video to start. So I'm gonna scroll ahead slowly here and right there, I'm about to start talking. And then what I'll do is click on the video and I'll click the split button down here. And what that's gonna do is cut my video clip in half. So the video now starts here and I can just delete this beginning part of my video where you know I'm just getting ready to talk. So I'll click the delete button down here and now our video is gonna start with me talking and then I can scroll ahead. I'll select the video again. I'm gonna scroll ahead to the point where I stop talking, which is right here. I can also just click play, listen to myself talk. And when I finish my sentence, click pause, then click the split button again. And then I can scroll ahead a bit more cause I take a quick drink of water and then start the next part of my sentence. So we'll get to that point right here. And then I can click on my video again, click the split button and then I can delete this gap here where I'm drinking water. And there we go, I've now combined, this is my opening sentence, and then it cuts right to my next sentence. And I can go through my video and kind of cut out the parts I don't want, and then just leave the parts in that I want in my video. Now in terms of video settings, you can select any video clip, and at the bottom you'll find a whole bunch of different settings down here. You've got speed controls, if you want to speed something up or slow it down. You have volume controls, so if you want to increase the volume, decrease it, you can do that. There are text controls. So if you wanna add some text to your video, here's like a nice slide on text. I can click on this and I can adjust it here. I can change the font. I can also just click on the text on screen here and then click edit. And then I can do, you know, type anything I want. Just do test here. There we go. And then using my finger, I can drag this around anywhere. So if I just want this to, you know, pop up here, that's totally fine. You can also change the color of the text. And if you click the three dots here, you can also make adjustments like the style, uh, whether you want the text to stay on for the full duration of this single clip or not. You have a lot of different options there for those adjustments. And then continuing on, we also have the filter section. Again, these are kind of rough, uh, but if you want to apply a filter, you can definitely do so right here. If you want to add music to your videos, you want to click the plus button up here, and then you can go over to audio. And then if you click on soundtracks, you can scroll all the way to the bottom here, and you'll find some built-in Apple uh, music tracks here that are safe to use in your videos if you want. They're very basic audio tracks if you wanna use them. If you are looking for something more professional or trying to be a content creator, uh, I personally use Epidemic Sound for my music. It's safe to use anywhere online, whether YouTube or TikTok, etc. And they got a huge selection of really high quality music and a whole bunch of different genres. If you're interested in trying that out, I do have a free trial affiliate link in the description. You can check it out, see if it's right for you. And then you can download that music directly on your phone and you can uh, grab it from your files. So in here, 
uh, which I do have uh, a song I want to use. I'm going to click back and I'm going to go to my files here. And here's one of the songs I want to use. I can just select this and it'll add it down below underneath my video clip. And I can also click on this and I can adjust the volume here because obviously we want it to be background music. So I'll just drag that down to like a 10 or something like that. And I can also fade the music too if I want it to fade in, fade out. I can, I can do that as well. Now, once you've completed editing your video, you're just gonna wanna click done up here. And it's gonna take you back to this screen. And then you wanna click the share button down here. And what you wanna do is save that video to your phone. And then you can open up the YouTube app, TikTok, et cetera, and then upload the video from in there. And speaking of YouTube, if you are someone who is looking to grow their YouTube channel, I actually have a YouTube starter kit that has free thumbnail templates, training videos, guides, and you can access all this for free. You just gotta go to colinmichael.com and the YouTube starter kit is on there, or you can click the link in the description. That'll also take you to the YouTube starter kit. So I hope that helps you out and I hope this video has helped you out. And if you wanna learn some more advanced editing tips that you can do inside of iMovie, definitely check out this video. I go into some more advanced tactics for editing and making some higher quality videos. So definitely check that out too.